We're going to try to make Beowulf here. This was attempt number one. And uh, attempt two. And then attempt three, I actually took the permanent markers and the watercolors and tried to kind of finalize him. So we're going to go through the process of how to make a Beowulf. All right. So we start with pencil because pencil you can erase and it's safe, especially for someone like me. If you look at my three samples, I've been working on various head shapes. I decided, I really did like my first one best, but I don't think I can recreate that. But a slightly skinnier head because my Beowulf is kind of puny. So I'm not going to start right at the top of the page. I'm going to go down about two inches. I'm going to make an oval there. And in that oval, I'm going to make an X. That's going to be my markers for where my face is. I draw two little lines down from the next neck. I draw a bigger oval. That's going to be his body. And then I draw one oval for the top of the leg. Oh, I always end up with a fat leg on that side. I don't know why it is. And another oval for that, more or less. And then I'm going to give him these big boots that I think of when I think of those Nordic countries. So about that tall, and then his actual foot like that. Now I've decided I'm going to make him holding a shield and a sword. I like the shield because then I don't have to worry about hands. I'm terrible with hands. So I do an oval there, and then I'm going to make his shield. Something like that. That can kind of be fixed up a little bit. Okay, That will work. All right, and then I'm going, not going to need this part of the hand that's behind. I can go and do a slight curve to make it look like there's some perspective. I may have put that on the wrong side. I'm not an art teacher. Um, so this arm is going to be raised above, and he's holding his sword. So oval there, and an oval there, and then his hand. So my sword is going to be sticking out so I can do a little rectangle, tiny little square, another rectangle. Now this is where it gets tricky. I'm going to draw kind of a curve, straight line, curve, straight line. I don't quite like that. That's why I'm using pencil. I like that shape better. Go with that. Maybe more like that. And I've more or less got his sword there. All right. So. Now, to put in some of the details, I decided at the last minute I want to give Beowulf some armpit hair, so I'm going to put that there. And he's wearing that chain mail that's always protecting him, so that's going to go there. And I'm going to have it come down till about here so that he's wearing tight. So I'm just going to kind of sketch in where that goes. I'm going to kind of go over my ovals to sketch the legs. See if I need to take some of that off. Put the top of the boot, another rectangle. Put the top of that boot, another rectangle. Kind of bring this down, bring that down. And he's got his clunky Nordic boots. And I want to give him a helmet. So a little bit above that line. I'm gonna go there, put a helmet. I'm gonna put little horns on my first draft. I experimented with how the horns go out. Some ways looked better than others. Give him a couple little ears. Decide to give him some mid-length hair. I like if it kind of sticks out a little bit, like it's coming oozing out of the helmet. Easiest part is the eyes. Dot there, dot there. Give him some eyebrows, tiny nose, and his mouth is open because he's such a big mouth. He's always talking. Put in his we are okay have I missed anything I think at this point now oh okay so line 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 sort of a thumb sticking out not much and I think I can go to my permanent marker I did not have a skinny permanent marker that one dried out
All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over those pencil lines with permanent marker. Now it's permanent, and I don't have my thin one. So, you know, it's okay. It is what it is. So, I'm about halfway done with my permanent marker. I decided I would try, instead of doing the circles on the chain mail, I was gonna see how the effect looked if I just did little lines. I'm not sure which I like better. Anyway, that's where I'm at so far. All right, two things that were added as we progressed was the goatee, because he looked young, which I wanted, but he looked a little too young. We decided his shield, too, if you look at this second one. That's a really blank canvas there, so we decided it needed something. So this was my mousy dragon. Looks more like a mouse than a dragon. And uh, this is what I got too. Didn't quite get the exact same this time through, but we'll see how that is. Okay, I think I have the majority of it outlined now. And this is where it really gets fun. I never learned how to do this with watercolors. Here's my paper from the last batch where I had learned how to mix the colors on a piece of paper and then apply them to your guy. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I'm gonna start with his skin first. Here's a couple tips. Have a paper for blotting handy because watercolors tend to run. You have your bowl of water and never dip your paintbrush with paint on back into the paint. You always wanna go water and then dip into the paint. So we wanna make a skin tone. And I'm gonna say that he's been out in the sun a lot, so I'm gonna get some yellow and some orange. I'm gonna throw a little bit of red in there, and I'm also gonna get some brown, and I'm gonna swirl that together. And then I'm going to lighten that up, and I want to add some yellow next to it and kind of work it into the yellow. And I think that's a skin tone that I could see him having. So I'm going to do his face. Looks a little yellowy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that. I might want to add a little more orange in. Oh no, the lasagna's ready already. And now that looks a little bit too wet. I'm just gonna blot him, otherwise it's gonna take a while to dry. I think that'll work. And then I'm gonna come over here, do his arm right away. Oh, he looks like he's been using some of that suntan cream that you put too much on and you get kind of orangey. Someone should have warned him. Okay, I think those are all my skin colors there. Thanks, hon. All right. He's wearing tights. So I'm going to do the bottoms of his boots next. And I want those to be a fairly dark brown. Notice what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out where I can put some watercolors that aren't going to be too close to each other right away so that it gives them time to dry and kind of get the colors I'm going for. I don't think this boot is going to be as dark as the other one, which maybe will give a sense of perspective, like light is coming from this way, so I might want to keep that in mind and try to have my lighter colors always on that side. Otherwise, maybe I can blot this a little so that they do match a little bit. And uh, the artist told us just whatever you end up, do it boldly, go with it, make it work. I'm going to try to get his shield next. So I'm going to start with some yellow here and I'm going to throw in some orange and a little more yellow, touch of brown, not much brown. And I think this is going to dry to a nice color for me. So what I like about this is with the dragon already on there, I don't have to worry about getting in any particular area. It's just all this bronzy gold color around get that over there and I'm gonna have his helmet match 
Maybe I'll actually go with a silver helmet. That'll stand out more. Okay, so I don't need that for anything else. Uh, now's a good time to do his tights. I'm going to go with green, but then I'm going to mix that with some black and some brown because they're really dirty tights. He's been wearing them a while, doing lots of excursions. So kind of an olive green is what I'm getting. That works. And I think his face area is still pretty wet, so I can't do anything there. I'm going to go for his sword. Now, to get a sort of silvery, you just take black and you lighten it up. So you can keep adding water to it. I'm going to get his sword. Yeah, I think I want to go over his helmet. Because otherwise, his skin is lighter. His hair is going to be yellowy brown. So I want his helmet to stand out. You know what I forgot to? Before I did a permanent marker cross on his helmet. I didn't do that this time. The horns, we're going to kind of just make those brown. I guess I had some brown left already. So I'm going to go ahead and just touch in there. in there and then the sword hilt I think I want a little darker so maybe I'll draw it from there what did I do the last time I did kind of like a silver hilt and a gold sword I could try putting kind of a streak of gold in all right so it looks like mostly he's kind of wet yet so I'm going to go to his chain mail, and I'm just going to go over that with this sort of tight color, but also the silver. Kind of mix those together. So it's similar, but slightly different. And just splash my color over there. And I didn't know what color to do for his boots. The top that's supposed to be like a fur so I'm just gonna kind of mix several of these colors to get kind of a, a dirty mix and that's gonna be the boot top something different he doesn't keep himself too clean for his hair I want to go with almost a brown but not quite so actually this color has meshed together we'll go with this and get some here where his beard is supposed to be, his little goatee. And then I also want to color in his mouth because he's this big mouth. And I'm thinking I just want to go with red. Let me see how just red by itself. Yeah, maybe I'm going to go on this one. I'll try red by itself. See what he looks like with a red mouth. Oh, I don't know if I like that. What do you think, Owen? Mm. Black mouth better. What about the black with the red? Hmm. Maybe we'll go with that. The black red mix. All right. So the last thing I did, and that was just for fun, is I took some brown, took some green, mixed that together. When I tried to do shadows that other time, it totally messed it up. So I'm going to avoid the shadows. But I will give him some grass to stand on. Make that darker even. I'm going to get in there. And then I'm just going to go over the rest and add some blues in. So. That's my little tutorial, at least what I've learned. Blotting his face because it was all smearing. Going to have to darken his hair again, I think. He's having a bad hair day. So, there's uh, another Beowulf. They don't look quite the same. But they're okay. <laughs>